Okay, so uh, in this video I'll show you what you need for the actual Polaroid conversion. So, first you have the 900 camera, obviously. Um, you can see the, the crappy lens, we'll need to remove this. Um, make sure you get a good one. Um, this one actually has holes in the bellows all over the place, so I'm going to have to fill them up. Um, but yeah, just make sure you get a relatively clean one, because that'll make your job a lot easier. Um, as you can see, this is a crack here. Um, doesn't really present a problem because you chop that off and you can fill it and glue it, uh, you know, spray it later, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, try to get a, a half decent one. Um, oh, the glass is probably the most important thing because you can't really replace the, uh, the kind of range finder inside, so try to find one with a, a half decent finder. Um, next is the lens, you'll be transferring. This is a, a 135mm 5.6 Fujinon W lens. See it's quite compact. Um, this should fit in the front I think. Um, I'm not actually sure. But um, yeah you want a compact lens. Something like a... yeah the Fujinon W series are quite compact. Also uh, the older ones. Uh, also the uh, Rodenstock Siren R N series. They're, they're quite compact too. So try to find a compact one. Focal length doesn't really matter, but I'm thinking, um, you know, 135, 150 kind of area. Uh, the native lens of the 900 is a 130, so 135 is a quite close fit, and the extra five millimeters will maybe uh, come up uh, useful for the for the back spacing. So uh, here we go, 135 millimeter lens. I think the actual distance to the front door after it's closed is about three mil uh, three centimeters, I think. Um, so yeah, try to get something kind of slim. Next up, obviously, is the back um, Polaroid back for the Polaroid 100, uh, 100 series or the Fuji pack film. Uh, Fuji and Polaroid basically make the same back. Uh, Fuji's ones are called PA1 and PA145. Uh, they're both for large format uh, cameras. Polaroid make one for a large fo format camera called uh, the Polaroid uh, 405. Basically the same thing. Um, there's a whole bunch of different um, manufacturers. or well, manufacturers, they, they modify the original Polaroid back. But they all kind of follow the same uh, pattern. So there's the base back, this kind of chunk here and basically everyone just makes their own adapter and they just bolt it on. Uh, this is a MPC Pro back for the EOS one. Um, got this for like 500 yen so I thought I'd, I'd modify it. Um, make sure you get a good one with um, with nice rollers. You can buy replacement rollers from Fuji but um, obviously that's an extra cost which you shouldn't really have to pay. Um, so yeah, make sure you get a good one. And once you get it, you just have to unbolt the uh, adapter from whoever you got it from. I have one, is this one, and I have a, a Mamiya RZ67 uh, one, which has the adapter on, I'll just rip that off. You can use that as well. There's a whole bunch of other medium format camera makers. I think Hasselblad makes some, Bronica makes some. So yeah, just search around um, and you'll probably find a, a cheap one. Uh, you don't really want to spend too much on a back because you're just going to hack it up anyway. And so, yeah. Um, and that's, they're the three kind of main parts that you need really. Um, you need a few basic tools like a, a hacksaw and some drills and stuff. And you'll need some miscellaneous kind of things like uh, pieces of sheet metal for the standard and, you know, pieces of wood and that, the, like screws and that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, we'll get to the kind of the small things uh, when we get to them. And so yeah, we'll, we'll get started with the conversion and I'll see you in the next video.